Fear is a Garmin Instinct. Like, completely unbelievable, but honestly, when I got the box, I didn't think there was a watch in the box. I'm doing a quick open box because I am uh, in my car and I didn't want to wait till I got home, basically. So, there it is. I'm recording this video right now on a Samsung S8 in my car. Check out that. The color is just awesome. It's a graphite color. Uh, it's a really light watch. I can already tell by just holding the box. And it's a protective film on it right now. I'm not too big on having to keep that. You know how people are like, oh, don't take that off. But I mean, of course, you have to take this one off. And uh, that's my appreciation right there. Just sit right up there. There she is. I kind of hope that it would be, you know, potentially all black instead of graphite, which is like a gray color. But eh, it's whatever. The band is super, super soft. Sitting in my car right now, people were walking by looking at me like, What is this guy doing? It's a little hard to do with one hand, but get it knocked out real quick. Huh? Hmm. And there she is, guys. There she is. So in the box, we've got... Like I said, I'm doing this in my car because I didn't want to wait till I got home. So in the box, we got the watch. Like I said, once again, it's fairly light. It's pretty awesome. The band is really, really soft. I'm gonna give it a good wash before I like completely have it sticking them on or sitting them on because I've seen people on Amazon talking about how it's uh, irritating to their skin, causing a rash. I don't want that. I'm gonna rinse it off real quick with some soap and alcohol when I completely start wearing it. But here we have a USB for the watch, and my phone is completely acting weird. It's auto focusing every move and I'm moving like a you know what granddad used to say still says whatever so quick instruction manual <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all that right now I said this is just a quick open box important safety and product information I'm not going through that right now <clears throat> so there it is so I can get it started real quick I still don't even know how to turn this thing on. Start pressing buttons. Hope it's got at least a little bit of charge to it. Be complete. There, there it is. There it is, guys. There it is. It's the Garmin Instinct. Let's see what it can do now. Let's see how charged it is. Oh man, we gotta do something. Nope. Imagine that. How you select? Is that it? No, no. Is this it? Pair with phone? Yes. Yes, I want to pair. Alright, that's basically it. I just want to get it on an open box. So, I'm going to go ahead and play with it now. I'll get some more screenshots a little bit later when I start recording an actual full quote-unquote review. But, uh, yeah.
enjoy this nice clip. Thanks. All right, guys. This is Mike once again here. I just made a uh, open box video in my car earlier, and now I'm here at home with the watch. I've played with it for over two hours so far, and this is going to be a really quick video. I just made a 17-minute video, and my camera, it clocked out because my memory card was too small because I was talking too much, and I already filled up the car, basically. So now I am remaking the video to shorten it by a lot. All right, so here we have the Garmin Instinct. I was in limbo between picking this watch and the Suunto 5 because... For me, I needed something more rugged, something more compatible with my lifestyle, which, you know, I'm outside a lot working with hand tools and just, you know, a lot of aggressive actions. And I just needed something that would stand up to the test of time and not scratch up really easily on me. And yeah, so I actually started purchasing the Sunto 5 and it was on pre-order. And I just recently, yesterday, I think I purchased it last Sunday, which was like, July the 2nd I think it was or the 3rd and I decided to not even go with that watch yesterday Saturday July 6th because look at this watch like like I said before it's, it's really awesome for my lifestyle and the Sunto 5 it was just too new for me to actually know how it actually worked and there was not enough information out about different text messages and how it handled music, and if you could actually change the song through the watch, which to me, those things are pretty important outside of GPS. So, the GPS on these watches, it seems like something really cool. I've never actually had a watch that does it, but I figured why not give it a try once again for my lifestyle. I like the mountain bike a lot, and I like working out, so it's worth giving it a shot. So, uh, if you're really considering the Suunto 5, definitely, definitely, definitely give this Garmin Instinct option or a chance because it's a really cool watch. Even though it's not in color, which was one of the biggest factors for me, and it didn't look as sleek as the Suunto 5, the features in this watch can definitely outlast, I'm sure, the Suunto 5. Like, uh, there's not many review reviews out for the Suunto 5 since it just came out in June, June 5th, I think it was as opposed to this Garmin Instinct, which came out around November, I think. And, uh, let's jump into it real quick. I want to give you a quick look around into some of the options and, uh, let you know some of the features I think are pretty cool. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so, sorry, excuse me for sniffing so much. So here we got up, up, down, select, and back. Easy enough, top four, uh, buttons to remember. So, there's that. Hold the menu button or press the menu button one quick time and the heart rate monitor will pop up right now I have it disabled so we hit back uh, start with the control button so right here you just got whoops right here we got a few buttons here or a few topics where you can just see different things like quick keys kinda and I think these are pretty cool to have right there you know just one quick long press and it'll pop right up for those so back out of that one Long press on menu, it'll bring up all your uh, settings basically. If you select into the watch face, you can cycle through different watch faces. These two are the most useless, this one and this one because they're ugly. As of now, I don't think you can download more faces, which hopefully to me, um, this watch hasn't been out over a year yet, so I'm pretty sure they'll come out with some more faces for you, for us. And this is the one I'm keeping it on right now. A lot of things you can't. A lot of things aren't interchangeable, like up here in the top section, top left, there's only like three options you can pick, and I have it set on steps right now, you can do steps, altimeter, barometer, and heart rate, so, I mean, none of those were important to me right now, so I decided to keep it on steps. And this little circle over here is really cool, it's capable of holding a ton of different, a ton of different options, I'll show you some things in a second though. So, long press. Okay, I'm still in the watch face menu. So I gotta back out of that. So now. Okay, I wasn't. Alright. So, if you hit this right here, up and down automatically without going anywhere else. You just do down. So I have it set up where my notifications pop up from my phone. This watch, you can actually send text messages from the phone. But now that I have like six already stacked up. It's not going to let me select which one to pick from, but that's fine. You just have to keep it up. If a message comes in, you have to reply or dismiss right away, or 
Otherwise, you won't have the option to respond to one of your messages, which, not too bad, but, eh, whatever. So, this was really important to me that I had this option because I like being able to keep in contact with people through my watch. Or just keep a tab, so I don't have my phone in my hand. So, here we got weather, heart rate, no events from my calendar, uh, my music controls, outside temperature, compass, and I'm going to add a few time zones there. Heart rate in and back. All right, so that was all that. And let's see. Next screen I'll show you is, and it vibrates. Wow, that was a good vibration. It's pretty strong actually. I might have to turn that off. <laughs> but back in here, dang it, I keep hitting back. History, show your last activities basically. Pretty cool there. Settings different settings where you can basically come in here and decide to if you want to add more runs you can go in and reorder them so you can you know put them in order this is the navigation track me project area calculator and you can always add more widgets and activities or oh, activities are here's the widget section this is just the order that I have everything in so you can go back and add more widgets if you want here's a few more last sport last run last ride last steps Calories, intensity, sunrise, sunset, moon phase, ABC, dog track, and reach zero. My phone is ringing now because my wife is calling me. Hey, Jesse, I heard you. I'm doing something real quick. Oh, okay. I'm making a, <coughs> making a video. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Back to controls. So, controls. So, yeah, so this right here is controls in this button right here. So, you can basically change or move around everything in here, which is kind of cool. So, you can add new. I just actually found that out. So, save location. All these options can be added to the control when you press that button up there, which is pretty awesome. So, that's a lot of stuff to add right there. That is a ton of stuff. So, I haven't charged this watch yet, so I just took it out of the box and it came pre-charged. And this watch face setting right here is just simply where you would go to and change watch face, watch face at the top. I don't know why I said that twice, which is weird to me, but whatever. Sensors here. Basically that. The map. I'm so excited to use this stuff, but I just gotta figure out how. I'm so new to this kind of phone, I mean this kind of watch, so. The phone option. If it's connected. Smart notifications, alerts, pair phone. That's the sp that's the position you that's the spot that you go to when you first get the watch. After you download the app, the app it's pretty cool. It's not too too wild. Use the profile, which is basically all my information like mail, birth year, height, weight, left wrist, heart rate. I can be tracking all that stuff. Just settings, navigation. I'm trying to speed this time up. This freaking video. I don't want it to be too long. Navigation, just different options. System, language, time, black light sounds. Do not disturb. The hotkeys, guys. The hotkeys is one of the coolest features to me so far. Because, uh, I mean, it's a watch. You have five buttons. You would like to have hotkeys. So, GPS is simply hold the GPS button, hold back, go to settings, hold down, take you to the ABC. GPS down. For me, I just set it as flashlight, which I'll probably change, but I just tried to set it as something else other than just off. So, See that one's off, backlight plus light. Oh, sorry, back plus light, which is these two right here. You press those, you can change it to do whatever you want. And yeah, hotkeys seem pretty cool. Units, format, data recording, smart, USB. You can use it as mass storage if you want to save. I don't know how much space it's got, but it seems pretty cool. And like I said, I was in limbo between this and the Sunto 5, and I decided to go with this because this it's a lot cooler than me. And uh, it's a lot more features in this watch than the Sunto 5, and my price range was right around 330 bucks. I didn't want to spend too much, and I think in that price range, this gives me exactly what I want without having to sacrifice on, you know, ruggedness and all that kind of stuff. So my camera's about to die, but if you have more questions, go ahead and ask them in the comment section, and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. And thank you once again. I'll probably add another video if you guys want it. Just let me know. All right, see ya. Bye.